and welcome to Reviews for Nerds. I'm Bryant. I just wanted to start this video off by saying thank you. As of right now, we have over 260 subscriptions to the channel. If those are rookie numbers in this racket. It means a lot to me that you're interested in what I have to share. My goals for 2021 are to get those numbers up, way up. My best advertising is word of mouth. So please find your favorite video and share it with a friend and hopefully they'll subscribe too. Today, we're gonna to talk about my experiences with Mint Mobile. Now, before I continue, I would like to stress that in no way, shape or form is the following video sponsored by Mint Mobile, Ryan Reynolds, or anybody else. Now, Ryan Reynolds and Mint Mobile are more than welcome to sponsor my videos, but as of right now, this is just my experience with Mint Mobile. If you've been on YouTube or any other streaming service lately, you've seen commercial after commercial after commercial for Mint Mobile. So my foray into Mint Mobile started when my girlfriend and I decided we wanted to get our daughter a phone for Christmas. Now looking at our plans, we saw that the monthly cost would be $50, $60 on up. And when you combine that with taxes and activation fees, well, the cost just piles up. We wanted something that was easy to sign up for, something we could do from the comfort of our home. We wanted something we could pay for online and something that we could monitor very easily. Mint Mobile seemed to cover all of those. So we figured we'd give them a shot. I went to mintmobile.com, I typed in my address and other vitals like that, typed in the model of the phone that we were gonna give her. And once that was all compatible, we looked through the plans. We chose a three gig plan for her because we really never leave the house. So we're on Wi-Fi most of the time and three gigs seems to work for the other child. So we figured why not? Signing up for the three gigabyte plan, which is three gigabytes of data, unlimited text and unlimited talk is $20 a month. If you sign up for a six month plan, if you sign up for 12 months in advance, that price lowers to $15. So I ordered six months just to give it a little test. And then I waited. Two days later, because we paid for the express shipping, I get the Mint Mobile SIM card. Not only that, but we got two seven day free trials. Each of the seven day free trials comes with 250 minutes, 250 text, and 250 megabytes of data. So I figured I'd give that a shot. So pulling my essential PH1 out of my 2017 drawer, I slipped the SIM in and I was off. After inserting the SIM card, I downloaded the Mint Mobile app where I went through the quick process of setting up the phone with a new number. There is of course an option to keep your existing phone number, but since my company pays for my phone number as is, there was no need to do that. In my two weeks or so playing with the phone and light use of the data network, I didn't have any issues around my hometown. Um, that's why that little step in the beginning is so important with typing in your address. You can type in your address and several different other addresses to get an idea of how the reception is going to work where you are. Our daughter also seems to be quite happy. Her Pixel 3a is up and running and she is on it constantly. So what have I found that I like and don't like? Well, here's my list of pros and cons. Pros. Mint Mobile service, very, very inexpensive. There's no activation fees. There's no real taxes on it. Um, you pay for your service up front and then you use it. Now they do have a, a rolling scale where they will, if you pay for the unlimited plan and they find out that you're using like three gigs a month, they will recommend a lower plan for you. Having spent considerable time in the mobile phone industry, forever! With Mint Mobile, I didn't have any issues, so I was very thankful for that. Plus, it was handy to have a second phone that I could use lying around. The only real negatives I see to using Mint Mobile is they don't have separate plans for strictly data. Uh, my ultimate goal with this is probably going to use this SIM card in my iPad, but there's not a separate data plan. You either pay for your three, eight, 12, or unlimited gigabyte plan, and it's the same cost. But 
that's not even really a con because at $40 a month for unlimited data, that's still cheaper than a lot of the other places. If you like the content you're seeing here, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and click on the notification bell. So there you have it. My experience using Mint Mobile for one week. I'm glad you guys tuned in. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you like the content you're seeing here. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. And thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.